I'm not an alarmist writer, but what I'm talking about is the computerification of everything and what happens when computers can affect the world in a direct physical manner. That computers used to be about data, now they're about things, and computer failure used to be about Windows not working, and now it's gonna be about your car not working. And we know how computers fail, they tend to fail all at once. So it's to evoke that notion of you could have these class breaks now on appliances and cars and medical devices and power plants and big real world things and not just your phones, computers, apps, and programs, right? You know, we don't want to pay for secure software, right? The joke for restaurants is good, fast, cheap, pick any two, kind of works for software. And, and we, the consumers, the market chooses fast, cheap, feature rich over good. So that's what's supplied, right? There are exceptions like the space shuttle or airplane avionics, but they are much more expensive, much slower, much more labor and expertise intensive processes that we just don't want for our apps and for our things. So this, this insecure software, which is buggy software, poor quality software, is the norm and that's what's moving into everything. So yeah, that's the world. That's the world we, we like. And it was okay when it didn't matter. Right? When it isn't about your phone, it kind of didn't matter. When it's about your car, it does. And so put it this way, it's how we act as consumers versus how we act as citizens. As consumers, we do what's in front of us. We make choices based on gut, uh, you know, the kind of stuff Kahneman writes about, that type one thinking, the emotive thinking. When we think as consumers, we make more considered choices, right? We make choices for, for health and safety and, and things that are good for the planet and society and not just, you know, eat at McDonald's. And the way we engage ourselves as citizens is through government, right? Government is the vehicle we use collectively to make decisions as citizens. And I argue in my book, I spend actually most of my book on this, is the policy. That the market won't fix this. Right? The market is what we have now. This is what the market delivers us. If we want better, we need to engage our other collective decision-making capabilities. And that's law and policy and rules and regulations and ways we constrain ourselves as consumers. Right? As consumers, we are not allowed to buy food that will poison us. We are not allowed to buy homes that will collapse on us. Right? All of those things, that we pass rules making that illegal or at least regulating it. And that same kind of thinking needs to start applying to the dangerous technology of computers, the now dangerous technology of computers. 